Okay guys, I'm back here with this transmission rain sensor. In the first video, you couldn't really see it that well, so I'm going to just give you another shot of it. That's this whole assembly right here, this whole black piece right here. I got this here uh, lower radiator hose. I got it tied back out of the way with a tie wrap over here so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, here's also the connector housing that goes to the transmission rain sensor. And also here's the connector with the harness here. So I unplug this so you guys can get a view of that. If you look at it, here's our tab up on the top. And what we have here is we got pin one in the upper left corner. Now it goes one, two, three, four, five. There is nothing in this pin over here. Okay, that's count as pin six. Down here on the bottom, we've got seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now that we've gone over the pin numbers of how this thing is laid out, let's quickly go over the back of this here thing so we'll know where we're at. This is all for reference here, okay, even though we're not going to be measuring up here. As you can see how close these uh, wires are, we don't want to start sticking T-pins in here. We need four T-pins, or, you know, you could put one in, move it over, measure, move it over, measure it, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to do it all in one shot. That's why we're going to go to the TCM. But let's quickly go over these wire colors and this here numbering. Okay, down here on the top left over here, this pink wire, this is on pin one. This is our B plus, and as you can see, it's a pink wire. Okay, number two, what we have is a light green wire with a red tracer. It's going to L2 switch inside the transmission rain sensor. Going over to number three position, we got a dark blue wire with a red tracer. That's going to L1. Number four, that's gonna be a red wire with a dark blue tracer going to L3. Next wire over is going to be a light green wire with a black tracer. That's going to L4. Now over here, this is position 6, but as you can see, there's nothing in it. Now, let's see if we can move down to the bottom. Remember, since I flipped it over, this right over here. Now this is all for reference. Uh, this is not going to be used for uh, anything for the TCM that we're going to be measuring, but just for you guys, you remember I mentioned there was two other switches in here, okay? Now, this one right here is going to be pin 7. This is going to be a pink wire. Let me get over there a little bit so you can see it. That's going to be a pink wire, okay? Now, this one right next to it, right there, that is going to be on pin 8. That is a light green wire. Now these two wires right here is going to be for your backup lights. All right, moving right on over here, this is going to be pin nine. This is an orange wire with a black tracer. Okay, and this last wire, which is on pin ten, is going to be a black wire. And those two wires right there is going to be used for your part neutral position switch. So in other words, this is a switch wires right here which is used for ensuring that your car starts in park or in neutral okay and by the way to release this thing what you want to do there's a tab right here so just push down and while you push down it'll pull out okay we're up underneath the dash you can see here's a steering column over here on this side right to the left of that here's a TCM now here's the connectors, three of them, as I mentioned. This is A, the blue connector. The B connector is green, and the one on the top, which is a gray connector, is C. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this here plastic tab, I'm gonna lift it back, and then I'm gonna drop this thing down and make it a little bit easier to get to. I just wanna point out that there, this here's this little uh, catch that was holding it up, but there's also one up at the top up there. If you can see it, so you have to release that one also. It's just like the one on the bottom. All right, now that we got the uh, TCM down, if you remember the A is the blue connector, green is the B connector, and the gray is the C connector. Well, what I want to do is I want to show you where my uh, connections are at here. Okay, I got three of them on the, on the B connector, and I got one on the C connector. But the main thing I want to show you is, let me zoom in on this just a little bit. So you can figure out how this pin number is on this thing. All right. When I'm looking at this connector, and if you can see it, you probably can see it on the camera, but where I'm stabbed at on this here connector is on pin one. It's the top left corner. 
So the way these things are numbered is from one to eight, going left to right on the top, and then on the bottom, it is from nine to 16. One other thing, these here are color coded. These are gonna to go to my four channel scope. Now blue is uh, relating to channel A on the scope. Red is for channel B and green is for channel C and last is the yellow is for channel D. That is gonna to correspond to L1 for channel A. L2 is gonna be for red, which is B. L3 is gonna be for green and gold or yellow is gonna be for L4. Okay guys, I wanna give you the shot. I got the four uh, connections made up now to the scope and I got a ground connection that's on a good clean bolt up there. Okay, I just uh, giving you a shot outside of the car here. Got my leads. You can see they're coming around, coming up, coming up, coming up. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this screen, but what I'm gonna show you right now is that I've got 50 seconds on the screen. Remember, blue is L1, this is L2 switch, L3, L4. Okay, I got the scope, scope started. I got 50 seconds here to uh, go through the gear shift. Figured I'd go about two seconds for each shift. Turn the switch on, press the brake. Okay. Just going through the positions. neutral, there's reverse, there's park, and now let's stop the scope. Okay, we got some, uh, got some waveforms on here now. All right. Okay. Guys, do you know what this means? It means it's getting a little bit cold out here, so let's go in the house and where it's nice and warm and we can sit down and analyze these waveforms. 